Haitians are human beings. They are made of flesh and soul. They too have dreams. When will the international community care? Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in a time of unprecedented stress and conflict. A time of turbulence, a time of war and high levels of fear. Right now, most of our attention is drawn towards Ukraine and Russia and the war in between the two countries. But there is another human tragedy that is happening right before our eyes, closer to the coast of the United States of America. It is only a matter of time before this tragedy which is its maximum. We are talking about the collective death of an entire nation, Haiti. We have a moral and civic responsibility to inform you about it. We have come to address directly everyone, everyone who cares, regardless of nationality, race, color of skin, religion, or sexual orientation. We are addressing everyone who cares. We are addressing everyone who loves Haiti, its people, and its culture. Because Haiti needs our help in this critical moment of history. Haiti a fait face à toute qualité puissance mauvaise foi Haiti is facing powerful forces of evil natal, and the objective is to uproot and destroy the Haitian people. Selon ça, ensemble, organisation doit Human rapide. rights organizations report hundreds of deaths every day. Haitians are dying from gang wars. Heads are being decapitated. Bodies are being burned, and families are forced to leave their homes to seek refuge with absolutely no help or guidance from the government. People are also dying from hunger, diseases, stress, and anxiety. From things that can easily be mitigated. Haiti is now witnessing its biggest migration in modern times. The Haitian youth are powerless and hopeless. They are leaving the country in masses. These are the same people whose creativity, productivity and vitality that Haiti needs for its development. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come here to tell you something very specific. We have come here to tell you that it is all happening by design. It is all part of a plan to cripple the country, to uproot the Haitian people, and to reappropriate the space at the expense and blood of its people. This policy is being implemented through a system of terror that keeps the country on its edge politically, socially, and economically that scares potential investors away and that keeps the Haitian diaspora at bay. The brutal assassination of President Jovenel Moïse is only the tip of the iceberg. This horrible crime left the country without a head of state. It destabilized it even more, leaving it in worse shape than it was before. All this, ladies and gentlemen, is the work of an unholy alliance between some very powerful minorities, wealthy families and multinational corporations with special interests on both sides of the island. It is the work between wealthy Dominican producers and the wealthy Haitians who are importing the goods. Thanks to this strategic alliance, Dominicans are now producing more than 
of everything Haitians is consumed. And this ratio is bound to increase. The Dominicans control the economy. And soon, they will control the politics. A few industries Haiti had, its agricultural system, had gradually been decimated. While people are going hungry and suffering under high inflation, the Haitian economy is being sabotaged. All meaningful investments are being redirected to the eastern part of the island for profit maximization, optimization, all in the name of market efficiency. But we know what these terms mean. They mean more money, more natural resources, and more power for the top wealthy 1%. And the price to pay mass hunger, mass poverty, mass murders, and mass migration, which in reality is no different to a situation of war. Speaking of war, we salute the international efforts to bring peace in between Russia and Ukraine. We understand that this war has geostrategic reasons behind it. It nevertheless remains a horrible event in the history of humanity. The world needs peace and more love, no more wars. We salute this massive international effort, which is now underway, to help the wounded Ukrainians and to attend the needy children and refugees, victims of this horrible war, a situation we Haitians are all too familiar with. Haiti is a war zone, just like Ukraine. What is sad, the international media pretend not to see or hear anything and doesn't say much about it. Yet, the situation in Haiti is just as bad, if not worse, than in Ukraine. The Haitian civilians have no guns and they have no standing army or a government on the side to protect them. The enemy is not in uniform and cannot easily be identified. The people are being attacked on all fronts by a disguised enemy. The Haitian people have zero support from the world's most powerful countries. Haitians are left to fend for themselves. Thus, our question we will let the Haitian people die alone. Will we really abandon the people to the whims and fences and the greediness of the most powerful? Doesn't Haiti as well deserve peace? Aren't Haitians also people? There are some who believe that Haiti has chosen its fate. These people are wrong. This is the work of this despicable, bloodthirsty, unholy alliance. But we know there's nothing new under the sun. We have learned from history that Napoleon sent his powerful army to destroy the emerging Haiti. Because the mere existence of this nation of former slaves was a defiance to Napoleon's racist view of the world. It was a blasphemy and a personal blow on the face. Haiti stood up for freedom for all, regardless of skin color, as the first black nation on earth. In the years of 2020s, more than 200 years since the slave uprising, there is something to be said about the tenacity, the veracity, and the quality of these evil forces. They have not lost the strength. 
They have not lost one bit of the thirst for wealth and privileges. The same goal is being pursued by more sophisticated means and with even more power than they did before. That is why we would like to make a plea. If you love Haiti, if you love its history and its culture, if you recognize the historical contribution of Haiti to humanity, you must speak for the voiceless, you must speak for the powerless, you must speak for the Haitian people. The United States, France, Canada and Germany are important members of the core group a group of foreign emissaries that effectively control the politics in port au and which finance and support its corrupt political system. The support of these foreign emissaries to Haitian politicians is deadly. The United States, France, Canada and Germany need to stop supporting corrupt politicians who are terrorizing and killing the people. If you care at all about Haiti, they are your representatives, the senator, the members of the executive of your country, that Haiti wants to breathe. Haiti needs to breathe. Right now, it cannot. It does not have that privilege. Haitians have been fighting for the freedom for so long. They too dream of true freedom. They want to get up one day and sing a beautiful song of freedom, a song that could be inspired by the words of Martin Luther King. This song will be heard in every city, in every hill, in every valley, from Cape Haitian to Jeremy, from Arcaye to Tiguav, and on the hills of Jacmel. Free at last, free at last. We are free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. We are free at last. Help us. Speak with your representatives about Haiti. Haitians too deserve peace. The Spirit of God who is in me salutes the Spirit of God who is also in you. Thank you.